Hello guys and welcome. So today I've got a really special video for you and I haven't just been shopping and been lazy and spilled everything on the table. I love a good prop, but as weird as these props are, they do serve a purpose for today's review. So today I've got the pleasure and honor of reviewing a fragrance that only launched today. It was created by one of our own here on YouTube, Mr. Scott from the amazing, amazing channel, The Centurion. I'm sure you all know Scott by now and I'm sure you are all subscribed to his channel. But if you are not, then you know what to do. Scott really is the most sincere, talented and wonderful guy with such a passion and capacity for this world of fragrance. So I know you'll all head over there and give him all the love, encouragement and support that he absolutely deserves. I've been chatting to Scott and nerding about fragrances with him for well over a year now. And in that time, I've really made a, a really good friend. We have a lot in common with fragrance. We've got a lot in common, actually. We seem to have very similar taste in fragrances. But in all that time, I never knew about this. <laughs> this was a real surprise. He's a man of integrity and, I mean, this is obviously a creation, a baby. He's kept close to his heart. Um, for good reason. So when Scott actually did announce to myself and a few others that he had been creating this fragrance for quite some time, we were of course shocked but absolutely elated for him. And just four days ago I received this rather amazing eco-friendly, I will add, box in the post. Now Scott did let me know that I was going to be receiving the fragrance as a gift which is just so kind, so amazing. I could have actually done this as an unboxing, a live unboxing, but you know what? So that I couldn't wait. I just wanted to get into this box, open it up and experience presentation and packaging and everything. I just wanted to experience it all and enjoy it. So we've got our personalized Centurion sticker there. Now the fragrance, the, the brand is called Centurion Dot Fragrance. This is the package and it's just, it's lovely. I haven't even told you what it's called, have I? Legio X. So you've got the fragrance here. We've got a scroll, lovely addition as part of the packaging. And we have a business card here, which is saying, it's a suscipia, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, which means accept the journey. And he's giving me a lovely little note here to Lizzie. Thanks for being a true friend and inspiration, Scott. Let's go for the scroll. I actually haven't opened the scroll yet. I have saved that at least. And this will give us the whole idea and concept behind this fragrance. So that is this beautiful addition to the fragrance. And I'm gonna, I'll leave a picture on the screen so you can see the wording, but I'm gonna read you the wording anyway. From Rome to Britain, the journey for the Centurion was arduous. It took him and his legion to many lands, and along the way they brought with them many skills and traditions, some of them in the way of food and smells. Legio X was a horse legion and favored by Julius Caesar himself. So with this fragrance, I wanted to give you an experience of the Centurion and his travels with a mix of modern day Italy. This fragrance opens with a fresh mint, which the Romans used as a breath freshener. Green apple is prominent throughout, which was eaten by the legion as they moved from settlement to settlement. Seeds were planted and the growth of apples spread northwards in Europe. The Sicilian tomato leaf is representative of modern day Italy. The leather is the base of the fragrance, much like the base of the centurion's armour and the saddle work of the horse. All this mixing together to give you a warm weather signature fragrance with an all day performance. So all I ask of you now is to itia sasispia, accept the journey. So let's now get into this exciting indie creation. I really love the box here. I'm very impressed with the quality of this box. It's got like a a rubbery texture. It's this lovely, thick, soft, but almost rubbery, all like suede sort of texture. And I really love it. So we've got obviously the label, the Centurion, Ejo X. It's a 50 ml eau de parfum with the fluid ounces there as well. Information on the base. Let's get into this box. It's very, very snug in the box. And straight away, I get Dior Privé vibes. It sits incredibly snugly in the pad at the base, very snugly. And the pad is a, a nice foamed, and it's quite firm foamed um, velvet base there. So let's pop that back on there. And here we have Legio X in all of its glory. And it really is superb quality materials here. It's such a beautifully heavy bottle. And I'm pleased to report the cap is very magnetized, not just slightly, it's, it's, 
it's pulling it back on pulling it back on it's fantastic it's beautifully secure on there and actually taking the lid off i love the proportions of the the metal cap there it just the whole thing looks stunning the perfume liquid is actually a yellowy the hint of green it's like a yellowy green and that really does give a huge nod to the type of fragrance that this is what it is is fresh green and aromatic right let's respray and get into the notes and this is a really great sprayer it's got such a long atomizing mist on it so we've got top notes of lemon lime apple and mint we've got the heart of sicilian tomato leaf a herb bouquet and jasmine and the base is sandalwood, leather, musk and vetiver. So this fragrance really bursts into life with all the green elements, all those green notes. So I'm getting all the lemon, the lime, the mint and the apple. The apple is definitely green. It's like a, a bite of a sour green apple. But mint was always a worry for me. I'm really not a fan of mint in fragrance. If it goes too bubblegummy or like spearmint, too toothpastey, the mint is beautifully intertwined with everything and it's just bringing the better qualities of the mint sort of clean freshness as it transcends into the mid notes you get so much beautiful sicilian tomato leaf it does still carry the mint and the lime in my opinion it still carries that beautiful fizz and freshness from those notes but it's the tomato leaf that really dominates and i i love tomato leaf there is a herbaceous quality from that herb, herb bouquet, bringing that aromaticness. And obviously there's jasmine in the heart, but I don't pick up on any jasmine particularly. But obviously it's bringing another facet, another dimension to it. But that tomato leaf is perfect. If you love that tomato -y leaf scent, like if you, there's no leaves on here, but if you were to sniff, if I can get that closer, sniff right directly under the green and you get that tangy, hang on, let me just do it. You get that tang tangy, aromatic, green, fresh quality. You've got that in this fragrance and I absolutely love that. That's a perfume in itself. I'm not gonna say, you know, if you don't like tomato leaf, you're not gonna like it because I don't think that's true. The tomato leaf is bouncing off of other notes and it's complementing other notes. And you know, overall, it's, it's just another facet to this fresh, almost organic and very natural smelling you know, green bouquet of, of, of these fruits and these herbs. So those base notes of sandalwood leather, musk and vetiver, they subtly move in. They don't suddenly appear like this heavy, hard, harsh base, which leather often is. Vetiver on my skin often goes very like walnuts. It smells like walnuts. And what I find, how this goes on my skin is this absolute perfect union of the leather and the vetiver i don't get so much musk i don't pick up on sandalwood just an incredibly soft and subtle bed for all these lush green gorgeous notes above it you've got top heart and base notes all at this perfect um proportion it's not heavy and it's obviously because of those base notes that this fragrance is a great performer it stays with you all day and you're left with a beautiful sillage. The lime, the mint, the Sicilian tomato leaf and herb okay maintain this green aromatic fresh scent. The image that I get when I when I wear this and when I smell this is being at a farmer's market but mid of summer on a hot day but it's hazy. It's like a hazy cloudy day but it's very warm. This fragrance is kind of hazy in, in a nice way like steam. If you can imagine all these notes have been steamed into the air there's something dewy about it and you get in that aromatic tomato leaf in the air you're selling fresh mint you've got green apples on the stall and obviously lemons and limes and all lovely stuff that's in the air but the air is warm and it's hazy yeah that's the kind of image that i get but if you're say just branching out if you're used to your freshes you want to try something a little bit different not dive straight into a niche. You want your, your strength and reliability from a good fresh fragrance. You want something a bit more interesting that smells a bit more organic and has some more dimension to it. Definitely check out Legio Rex. Even if you just love magnetic caps and you just want to play with them all day because it's just freaking cool. This is now available to buy from Etsy. So Scott has his own business page on Etsy 
and I'll leave all the links below, including his Instagram business page and his channel on YouTube. How cool do the vegetables look through the glass? It's like they're bottled in there. So that is the fabulous Legio X from Centurion.Fragrance. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to head on over to Scott and wish him a huge congratulations. I hope I've entertained you. Are you not entertained? Had to be done. That is all. Take care, guys. See you again on my next one. Over and out.